dude, you suck at this game. <laughs> Whatever, man. Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Roller Coaster Tycoon. We're now moving on to something a little bit, a little bit of teeth, mm, called box office. Look out on amusement, amu on amusing amusement parks. The stu movie studios cast you in the role of a superhero, not for a movie, but for the daunting task of updating this aging backlot park without running its pedigree head heritage, without ruining it. In fact. You are the producer, the director, and the star of the show. Can you deliver the blockbuster the studio once? Well, everybody has a different concept of art, but nevertheless, let's get this bitch eaten and let's get this party started. All right, we're gonna be starting box office right now. No, I want to st want to start the game. Yes, yes, start. Let this start the fun. All right, all right, hey, all right, here we are. Box office. We already read all that. And let's look at our tasks. Okay, we have a VIP that's going to be arriving, so we have to worry about that. He's a very she or she. What is it? Cameo? <laughs> Cameo. Oh my gosh. It has a very low tolerance of uh, litter. And I need to have a park reading of 300 for a sustain for at least one month. If I remember right, this one has a bit of litter. So we're going to have to take care of that. And then uh, some of the breakdown tolerance, uh, monthly shop profit, park rating. So we need to really work on our park rating more than anything else. This bitch, we have to have a roller coaster excitement at least seven. Ooh, that's something worth we'll worry about later down the road. But let's take a look at the park here. Uh, ooh, yeesh, yeesh! Look at all this garbage. That's not good. That's not good. But as you can see, there's not a lot of paths here, so I could set up and easy and quick uh, pathing system here to get it all cleaned up. So let's start by first hiring a couple janitors. Let's st we'll stick someone up here at the entrance. Alright, we're gonna name him, uh, let's see, we'll, we'll do movie stars this time. We, we'll do movie stars. How about uh, East Clintwood? That sounds like amazing. So if we're gonna do that. He's already instantly just fucking, he's had it. We'll give him some training, and we're going to assure him that it'll be okay. So, all right. So, East Clintwood here, he's, he's very angry, just like in the movie Gran Turismo. Gran Torino, fuck. And uh, he's just like, get off of my lawn. And no one ever got off his lawn, so now he's like super pissed all the time. And, and I feel sorry for the poor guy. I really do. Also, these stupid buildings. You see these things? They're freaking everywhere. They serve absolutely no purpose. In fact, none at all. They don't serve any purpose whatsoever. So we're going to be taking care of these very quickly. And I'm going to do something similar to what I did last time I played this level, which was ages ago. We're going to do something we did in, uh, in a previous level not too long ago. We're going to go ahead and add a mechanic as well. We're going to leave it 1-1 one, one right now. We're going to have one mechanic and one... Uh, one... Uh, uh, one mechanic and one janitor right now until I get something set up. Let's call this guy uh, Sheen Char. Ooh, oh, Char, whatever. Char semicolon. Ah, all right. But anyways, we're gonna try to get this place cleaned up. But you see this crap right here? It's a crap. That's stupid stuff. Let's go ahead and just delete the whole s the whole thing, because it's just annoying and it's pointless, and it's stupid. And it gave us money, so who gives a crap, right? Ah, these buildings do not serve a purpose. They don't. They really, honestly, and truly do not serve a purpose. So let's go ahead and just take care of that. I just heard a bunch of noises. That was very bizarre. Can we delete this? We can't delete this. This is just stuck the way it is going wanting to be. Anyways, right here, I think, this is where I'm going to start setting up my concessions. Let's go ahead and change the pathing here to steel pathing. Ooh. However, this does have a monorail system, which is kind of cool. Kind of cool. Pretty excited about that. But anyways, we're just going to, I'm going to sort of work with the terrain here and, and add a little circle here for everyone to sort of go to. 
Uh, other services we're going to need, obviously, are the information boots, which we'll go ahead and plop right here. The entrance. Open that shit up. And we're going to make people pay more for, uh, for maps. If I remember correctly, does this actually have a night cycle? I don't know. Do three quarters of map. That sounds like perfectly fine. It's a bit overcast of a day. And we also want a bathroom, so we want to take care of that. The most exciting ride they have to worry. I mean, look at this monorail. It pretty much displays all this stuff and uses these, um, what are these things called? Uh, effects, which you can't actually use for a while. For some reason, I don't know why, but you don't ever get any effects to use. We really got vomiting thrown up for people, people, persons. And my janitor has his work cut out for him. I'll give him that. Speaking of a janitor, where did he go? Where's East Clintwood? Where the fuck? Damn it, the fuck are you? Like, wandered off. I also want to get an ATM going. Turn that on. And we want a bathroom. Because these guys got to piss sometimes, I think. Let's go ahead and connect it to here. That was a bad idea. That was a really bad idea. We just delete that. We just ignore that. That never happened. Yes. Don't net no, you don't know anything about that. That never happened. Ball. Oh, let's go open that and then bam. There we go. The guy's expecting like there were buildings here earlier. What seriously? What happened to them? Oh, I, I like that they're gone. All right, thank you. I, I figured you would like that. Uh, let's see. Where are Janet to go? Seriously, what the heck? Monthly summary. I, I know I'm losing money. Shut up. East Clintonwood. Where are you? Where are you, buddy? Is Oh, he's up here trying to take care of this. And I think I want to go ahead. We, we don't want to build stalls just yet. We also want to make sure to start getting trash cans out. we gotta get, got to get our, uh, our uh, trash prevention out before we start making trash. As you can see, we got a few more different stuff to use. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. Including a large hollow wood sign. I don't want to use a wood bench. We'll use some marble benches here. And we'll set up some sitting places for people to rest their hind quarters. Was like a plan. Make it a little bit more relaxing for people to be. I mean, that that's something that's going to have to change. You also see there's a lot more lights there, which we might end up using. I don't think that there's actually a uh, um, space bin. No, we don't want space bin. We'll just use regular fucking trash cans. They're reliable. But uh, there's a lot more lights. I don't remember if there's actually a night cycle in this one. I don't think there is. I think it just comes overcast occasionally. I don't know why I wait so long to put out a night cycle either, but I'm not complaining, I suppose. But we're gonna, basically, we're probably not gonna satisfy whoever decides to show up at our park here recently, or pretty soon, so I'm not worried about that, but right now I'm just trying to get the cleanup uh, underway. It's just mainly what we've gotta do here, just work on the cleanups. Go ahead and hire another janitor, and we'll name him, uh, um, shit. How about, uh, Sandra Bully? Mm. Sure. Sure. Sandra Bully. She's gonna, he's going to be doing this. He's also, he's, he's in part of, he's going to have a little bit of a crossover in the path, which I think is fine. And I'm going to have him start working on trying to get this all cleaned up. And he, <laughs> one of my friends, he has his work cut out for him. So he'll be at that for a while. Because, <coughs> I mean, there's shit just literally everywhere. Like, literally, there's poop. People have been pooping on the ground in the grass. But I'm going to let him work on that for a while and, and let him go at it. In the meantime, let's go ahead and start building our first ride. Let's go ahead and keep it low-key here. Uh, what does a Hollywood film need? Let's look at some exciting thrill rides here. A motion simulator that might fit quite perfectly actually we got some swinging inverting ships which is pretty cool uh, TNT vortex which I don't think really fits let's go with a motion simulator that sounds pretty cool pretty cool it's pretty small but I mean I think I think it suits the f the Hollywood the Hollywood theme so let's go ahead and build it over here somewhere I think many helicopters that sounds amazing actually Let's rotate it, and we'll put it... Actually, let's... This fucking monorail, guys. Hold on a second. Before we build that, let's let's, let's get rid of more of these buildings. Ugh, oh, so annoying. They don't serve a purpose. 
look at this gorgeous Hollywood warehouse where rapes take place. Isn't this amazing, guys? It's amazing. I'm so glad I get to see that. Oh, my God. That's, that's terrible. Hollywood, believe it or not. I don't know what you know in your movies, but that isn't normal stuff that people are into. You know, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird there, eh? But, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and get this, this train wreck on the road here. There's our motion simulator. That looks pretty damn cool. Let's uh, do some testing and let's make sure. It's busy, busy day today. Look at this. And let's go ahead and crank up the price to be about 230. That's 250. How many people could be at a ride at the same time? Eight guests. That's not bad. All right. My door randomly shut. Uh, that was kind of scared shit out of me. Just now, you guys didn't probably hear it. But a door in my house randomly shut with no warning, and it freaks me out every time it does that. Let's go ahead and pull out some benches. I always prefer something a little bit lower key. I don't like going overboard. And we can even do some deco here. That's not deco. Where's the? There it is. We have some animatronic shit. Look at this. Ah, it's like it carries over too. It's really cool. Something that fits the Hollywood film. What, what, what do we got that fits the Hollywood kind of th how kind of thing? Hmm. How about a giant butterfly? Yeah. Butterfly in the sky. I could go twice as high. Ooh. Some exploding out there. Some exploding out there. It's crazy. Anyways, all right, cool. We got our first ride, and we can build some trees. Oh yeah, this is going good. I'm liking this. And I think the shaped topiaries fit just fine, actually, uh, in the Hollywood land. Uh, it's lots of ducks. Yes, lots ducks times finity. And then we have the monorail going on here. Let's take a look and see how the monorail is doing. Twelve casters. We can't add any more cars. It's just unfortunate. Yeah, 39 people on the ride. Let's go ahead and increase the price. That'll make us a little bit more money in the meantime, guys. Prices just went up because I had to build stuff for you fuckers. And let's go ahead and add, start adding some refreshments. Now, I'm going to try to make the concessions kind of over here. Just what I did last time, and it seemed to work pretty well in keeping the trash uh, maintained. So there's that. And it's a bit warmer, so we can add some ice in all of them. But we'll only add a lemon wedge to the first two, and we'll, we'll bring it all up a couple quarters to a price that makes sense. Sounds fine to me. And uh, we'll just keep it like that for now. That'll work. All right, we go over here. We're going to add some, a Christmas bomb, which I think will work just well because it is... After all, almost Christmas, and that's weird, but that's fine. I don't think trees are supposed to do that. Or is it? I don't know. I don't know anything. All right. I'm working pretty good here. How's everyone doing today? I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with this. I'm finally picking this back up. I'm trying to crank out a lot of episodes in one sitting. So it's still like the same day I first started recording from part 12 on. And I'm really glad to be seeing some of my peeps up here and moving around here. Uh, the trash is really getting taken care of in this area, and it seems like uh, the trash cans have done a little bit better at diverting some of the trash that was sitting all over the place from all the misfits that didn't make it. You know, all, all the attempted actors that tried to get, make it big and didn't make it. They came over here and just threw the trash away. Out of, out of spite? Out of anger? Who knows? It's their failure. It's not our fault. Yeah, here, here this thing's just paying the price. Now notice we have all this cement stuff we can't use to can't get rid of, so I think I'm gonna try to, to get you take advantage of it. <laughs> By maybe adding some scenery or something? That sounds like fun. Huh. Let's see here. Let's let's go with the uh, pirate stuff. Who gives a shit about pirates? Ooh, a raptor animatronic. Ugh, I like this. I like it these. Oh, oh no, that's not gonna work. We need to turn it around so it scares people. Yes, that's awesome. Maybe we could, yeah, we could do like dinosaur or something out here, but that wouldn't make sense because this has got like a spaceship simulator. I don't give a shit. Um, Saturn. There we go. Yeah, it'll fit quite nicely. If only it wasn't that big. Let's start getting rid of some of this shit. What's this? Sci-fi. That's what we want. All right. Put a rocket ship back here. 
Um, what? In that one. And we'll put a three-legged robot animatronic next to this raptor, because why not? And we could do a U UFO attack animatronic. Put it back here. And we could put... Ooh, a Martian war machine. That sounds cool. That's... Ooh. It's like, what the world's going on here? A loading robot. Oh, that's awesome, dudes. That's awesome. Yes! Martian war machine. Look at this thing. All kinds of stuff going on here. Well, I will go ahead and... Oh, we could actually use effects on this one. Sweet! That's awesome. I didn't know you could do that. I thought you couldn't on any of them because the right events... Well, maybe you just can't research any of them. I don't remember. It's been a while. Get rid of that. I'll just use old classic stuff. Actually, you know what? Hey, hold on. Is there anything interesting under sci-fi? I guess so. Yeah, we can make each of them like, themed a little bit, maybe. There we go. Make it cool, these, these cool little uh, plants and objects and stuff going on. Ah, this is very busy. Look at this shit. Look at that. Our, our park rating, however, isn't doing that good. Our ride intensity thing went up. Litter and vomit is really bringing us down, though. I mean, really bringing us down. How are we doing with the old uh, cleanup job anyways? Let's see here. Yeah, also, your mechanics tend to wander off a ways. Oh, he's doing a badass job. We're getting a lot of this cleaned up. Let's go ahead and build us our third one. And then after that, I think it's probably a good idea to end it. And then we'll come back and we'll start putting down more jobs. The other three is instantly mad. Instantly mad. What's a famous actor? How about... Gary... Busey. I don't think that's how you spell his name. How about Gary Coleman? There you go. Gary Coleman. He's he's going to be working here as well. He, after he died, he decided, well, I'll just go work at Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. There we go. We'll give him some training. Make him a little bit happy. Give him a little bit of raise. And we will set his path up to maybe cover up this area. We want you to go back down this way and take care of this pathway. Hopefully the idea is that these janitors manage to get all these roads cleaned up by the time that I start building shit. Because that'll make uh, everything a little bit better. Ooh, the VIP has arrived. How well will that go? Find out next time! Yeah!